I had to pull up. You're walking in front of it. Sixty-eight degrees. Perfect for splitting. Got a breeze. Teamwork. Why don't you all go over and check out Up in Smoke. And, uh, Steve. He sent us a nice package. Some stickers and shirt and hat. We're sending back a hat and some stickers. Yeah, we're going to return the favor. Return the favor to him. Not sure where we're going to put all these stickers. They're fading on the Bobcat pretty bad. Um, so we're going to have to come up with something different. I'm thinking maybe right against this wall. Um, I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Hurry up and come up with something, though. Got a lot of stickers. Yeah. I tell you, anybody who wants a good American-made splitter, you got to wait because there's, there's a waiting line, but this heavy-duty J model with the optional table, um, electric motor, really is nice, really nice to run, just quiet. quality.
rain and the wood sales will pick back up? Yep. What she said. <laughs> we'll be at Bunyan. Pretty full tote. Imagine getting your hand in there. Yeah, sure. Hammer. Yeah, it'll go. It'll go. That's probably about all, Robin. That's a tote we just filled. I don't know. How many minutes? Uh, well, this camera says 23, so. Yeah. It must have been 23. Less than a half hour we filled a tote. Super splitter to the rescue. Tote splitting section for today. What do you think? Beautiful. We're supposed to be heading in rain. Yeah. You can see over here all the logs. We've got to work. Uh, that's Halverson. In the back there, we will be cutting up with the Halverson saw or the 500i or the 592 Husky. I don't know yet. That's uh, waiting on me. I've got three more big logs over here on the, on the bin. Um, as of right now, I don't see a use for the disc cleaner, so we won't be using that anytime here soon. But um, who knows? Toodles, everybody. This Hudson beaver tail trailer came to us out of New York. It was used at ground zero as a cow. Communication on wheels. A farmer slash construction worker had lent it to Ground Zero for the cleanup time. However, it turned into a couple year project and the gentleman who lent the trailer needed a new one. So he bought one and then when the Ground Zero cleanup was done, he sold us this trailer. We love the trailer. We do not use it very often, but it's a wonderful piece of equipment to have for when you do need it. If you watch video 327, we used it to go get totes up in Corridor H in West Virginia. We also used it a year ago on 377. We were carrying a log to freaking Jeep's property for him to sawmill for us. 
However, the last time we used it was video 505, Smooth Operator, where we went to Centerville to get totes. If you noticed in that video, I'm walking very leery and gingerly on the back. We realized at that time, holy cow, those white oak boards had rotted. When we brought the trailer back, Larry checked it and thought, holy cow, we need to replace these boards. So that is what this is the beginning of. Larry is tipping the trailer so that we can get the boards off easily without me going under or him going under it and getting into any bees nests or spiders. Tipping it on the side like this enabled us both to be working at the same time.